Welcome back to Hawkeye Skunk Works. Today's video, we are going to do another short little uh, review video, so stay tuned. We are going to do something that has never been done before. The cheapest third gen Toyota 4Runner in the entire country. I have bought another 4Runner. And that, my friends, is one of the greatest parts about being here. Uh, real quick, before we get started, yes, we're at another campground, but um, there's some really cool campers here that I wanted to show you guys. We've got these, uh, there's these GMC mobile homes that are here. There's four of them. And uh, that one seems to be original. That one's definitely been repainted. And then two more matching original ones over there. For anyone wondering, got your uh, stats right here. Ooh, that's a good looking setup right there. Yeah. Yes, today we are going to do a little review. We've got the Magpul DACA Bifold Wallet. Uh, I've seen these for quite a while. They've been out for a little while. Um, someone was nice enough to hook me up with one and I thought we would sit down and take a little bit closer look at it. Yes, again, like I said, Magpul DACA Bifold Wallet. We're gonna peel it out of the package here. Um, and it is not black like I thought it was. It is my favorite color of OD green. This is just the little information card. Pretty simple. Um, buy fold, one fold, got cash slot, and then there is uh, two slots on each side. No clear spot for an ID, which right off the bat I'm not a fan of. Um, so I pulled this up on Amazon real quick just to see what they were going for right now, and it looks like you can get one for 15 bucks prime. Well, that's a black. Let's, okay, let's see. Olive, so the olive drab is 25. So we've got that. It is, let me go back down here. I want to get the info correct. Um, it is a reinforced polymer fabric with anti-slip texture, RF welded. That's like how the, the seams are put together. Let's see if, I'm going to try and focus this. You can see how the seams are kind of smushed together. Nice little Magpul logo in the front there. Chemical resistant, uh, non-hydroscopic, which means it's waterproof. Uh, rounded edges, etc., etc. So, uh, so to me, it kind of feels like a uh, rubbery, plasticky canvas almost. Um, it's got a canvas type texture on it and yeah I think probably the best thing for us to do is to pull out my wallet pull everything out of my wallet and stick it into this one so this is everything out of my wallet um, my old American Eagle leather wallet with the uh, camo inside anyway we are going to go through all this and see if we can get it to fit in here First off, we've got, this is a little uh, like stainless steel multi-tool. This is HSW, got me, I always carry that in my wallet. I suppose it's not a necessity in the wallet. I just put it in my glove box or something, but we're gonna try and fit it in there. And then we've got, I've got a uh, insurance card, dental insurance card, a couple of my own business cards, debit card, Menards credit card, gotta have that. Um, coffee hand card. Coffee hand card. <laughs> coffee, uh, coffee house gift card. Necessity. Um, couple rewards cards for restaurants. I think we'll go ahead and pull those out for now. Driver's license. 
um, Second Amendment freedom card, fishing license, uh, Sam's Club, work credit card, and another paper card for a store that I do actually need, and some cash. I didn't have any cash in my wallet because I almost never carry any cash. I know, that's kind of a fail. So I had to borrow cash from Mrs. HSW to use in the video. I told her I would give it back to her. So, cash, that's pretty easy. Slide that in there. Um, and then we'll just go through and separate real quick everything else. Done. I eliminated a couple of these loyalty cards, and these were actual plastic thickness, like credit card cards. Uh, I can probably just throw those in the center console of the car because I don't need them all the time. Uh, my like my fishing license, that is just a piece of paper folded in half. That's gonna be null here pretty soon, so I can take that out. Like my dental insurance card, I probably don't need to carry that with me, but you know, it's in there. Here are, air it's loaded. Uh, I, one thing that I don't like uh, besides the non-see-through for the ID, which I guess you really don't need that because anybody that's gonna wanna see your ID nowadays, they need to have it out because they're scanning it um, to check your age. So you can see the size of the wallet. There's extra on each side uh, for, compared to the size of our cash money in the US. So they could have made the wallet smaller had they been really trying to make it minimalist, or they could have changed the interior design and um, made the pockets staggered so the cards would stick out so you could get to them. But they have it like that. And I realize, yes, it has to be a little bit bigger so that you can have a hinge in the middle. But um, yeah, I. There could have been, it could have made the wallet smaller if that's what they were really after, or I don't know, designed it slightly better. But what do I know? I've never designed a wallet yet. I know that the whole minimalist wallet thing with like the Trayvax and what is rigid, rig, I don't know. There's a bunch of other like Kydex ones. Give it to me. I don't like that. Um, I don't know the exact measurements of it off the top of my head, but it is. It's just slightly smaller, barely, than my uh, old wallet, which I felt was pretty standard. So maybe it's on the slightly smaller size than standard. I'm gonna give it the old college try. I'm gonna carry it for a little while and see what I think. If I do end up carrying this wallet for an extended period of time, I'm real, I am curious on how these edges, I'm gonna try to get this to focus. Nope, it's not gonna focus. Um, it's too small. Uh, how these edges will um, hold up because this is a base, it's a poly reinforced fiber, I think that's what it said. So it's got little strands in it, um, fiber strands, and then they're sealed with that RF welded and it looks like some kind of a clear, like melted almost. Um, so I wonder how that's gonna hold up because I literally carry a wallet every single day. I get up in the morning at six o'clock, I get dressed, wallet goes in my pocket, I go to work, come home at six o'clock, whatever, work outside, come inside, you know, 12, 14 hour day, easily up, down, in my back pocket. I'm not a front pocket wallet wearer. I'm not a, well, I don't need my wallet today. I, like. I feel naked without it. So um, I am curious on how it is going to stand up. And if nothing else, maybe even if I'm not a huge fan of it um, in the next week or so, maybe I'll carry it long term just so that I can uh, come back with another video to kind of tell you guys how it holds up. Ooh, I just put it in my pocket and I, I am gonna say I see an, a benefit of it. This is grippy, so it's not gonna come out of your pants um, nearly as easily as the old school leather. But I have a sneaking suspicion I'm gonna be going back to, if not this leather wallet, another one. And I've even toyed around with making my own. So maybe stay tuned for that. Well, I think that's enough talking about wallets for, for one day. Um, if you have any comments or questions, as usual, leave those down below uh, in the comments section, or feel free to email me 
over at hawkeyeskunkworks at gmail.com. Head on over to Instagram and Facebook, uh, follow me, like me over there as well. There's links in the description for that. Yeah, so I think I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get back to tending this fire because we are going to have some wood fire coal grilled steaks tonight to celebrate our last weekend of camper camping, unfortunately, before the camper gets winterized and goes into storage. Uh, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button turn on the notifications which is the little bell button that you can click next to the subscribe button it just will notify you when I drop a video every week so until next week when let's see yes I do know what video is coming next so thanks for watching take care goodbye <laughs>